A Morro Bay man who allegedly led police on a wild two-county chase made his first court appearance today. News Channel 3's Amanda Valdez joins us live. And Amanda, you were there for today's hearing. Today we took a closer look at Trevor Crane. He led police on a wild chase Wednesday morning. His public defender did all of the speaking for him today as he stood behind a glass window facing the judge for the first time. Calling the case of People versus Trevor Michael Crane. Trevor Michael Crane's lawyer stood in front of him as he appeared in front of a judge for the first time Friday afternoon. He's charged with a high-speed chase down the coast from Napomo down to Goleta. Our cameras caught the aftermath of the accident where a man from Lompoc was hurt badly enough to go to the hospital. Minutes later, Crane's tires were blown out by spike strips along the 101. The matter continued. To Tuesday, March 1st, 2016. The judge set Crane's bail at $100,000. If he can't post it, he will remain in the county jail until his next court date on Tuesday. And there are still a lot of questions surrounding this and what caused the chase to start in the first place. As for that man who was injured, his name is Glenn Merrill, 66 years old from Lompoc. He's listed in stable condition tonight at Cottage Hospital. In Santa Barbara, I'm Amanda Valdez, News Channel 3.